was a Catholic girl, she held out to the bitter end. Carla was a different type, she's the one who put it in. Mary was a black girl, I was afraid of a girl like that. Susan painted pictures sitting down like the Buddha sat. Geographic memory. Kathy was a Jesus freak, she liked that kind of misery. Vicky had this special way of turning sex into a song. Kamala, who couldn't sing, kept the beat, kept it strong. Zilla was an archetype, the voodoo queen, the queen of wrath. Joan thought men were second best of masturbating in the bath. Sherry was a feminist, she really had the gift of gab. Kathleen's point of view was this, take whatever you can grab. Seattle was an other girl who left her mark upon the map. Karen liked to tie me up and left me hanging by a strap. Ginny had a nightclub walk that made grown men feel underage. Mariella, who had a son, said, I must go, but finally stayed. Gloria, the last taboo, was shattered by her tongue one night. Mimi brought the taboo back and held it up for the light. Marilyn, who knew no shame, was never ever satisfied. Julie came and went so fast she didn't even say goodbye. Mm -hmm. Venice lived on brown rice and cocaine. Patty had a house in Houston, shot cough syrup in her veins. Linda thought her life was empty, filled it up with alcohol. Catherine was much too pretty, she didn't do that shit at all. Not Catherine. Not uh. -uh. Alright. Well, Pauline thought that love was simple, turn it on or turn it off. Marie was complicated like some French filmmaker's plot. Gina was the perfect lady, always had her stocking straight. Jackie was a rich punk rocker, silver spoon, a paper plate. Sarah was this modern dancer, lean, pristine transparency. Jana wrote bad poetry in a crazy kind of urgency. Tanya Turkish liked to fuck while wearing leather biker boots. Brenda's strange obsession was for certain vegetables and fruit. Uh, uh, uh. Are you receiving me? Rowena was an artist, daughter, the deeper image shook her up. His mother left her father, took his money and his truck. Debbie Ray had no such problems. Perfect Norman Rockwell home. Nina, 16, had a baby, left her parents, lived alone. Bobby joined the new wave band, changed her name to Bobby Socks. Eloise, who played guitar, sang songs about whales and cops. Terry didn't give a shit, was just a nihilist. Ronnie was much more my style, because she wrote songs just like this. Jezebel went 40 days, drinking nothing but Perrier. Dinah drove her Chevrolet into the San Francisco Bay. She's a Scientologist. Almiranta, here's a kiss. I chose you to end this list. Uh, 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 uh. 88 lines, about 44 women.